Alright, hi everyone. Welcome to another episode of Kevin Plays Lotro. Today we're going to go into the Yondershire. And we have my birds and Jack the Parrot in the background. Making a little bit of noise. Uh, but anyway, so they're joining us along on this adventure. So if you happen to like the video, feel free to hit that like, subscribe, bell notification. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. Okay, let's talk to Bounder Chub. Stay and have yeah, some tea. to Yonder Shire. So we are at level 17. This is quest level 20. Hopefully we could do this. We'll see. We'll see how we do. Uh, hopefully it's not too hard. Okay, if you are heading west, you may want to rest a while in Yonder Shire. The bounders there can be found patrolling the western edge of the Shire proper. Talk to Salga Greengrass in the field village of No Bottle and Frothar Took in the hamlet of Tyfield. Those bounders will give you a proper Yondershire welcome. Okay, ooh, we got new, uh, let's see, new currency, copper bounders coin. Okay, and then another reputation to earn as well. Okay, so we will do that. I still have all my rep items from the last from the regular Shire. Oh, we'll see. Oh, and during this, it's Bagan's birthday. But we're not going to do Bagan's birthday this time. No. Alright, let's go. Let's go to Yonder Shire. So where are we at? We're at Needle Hole way up here, right? Yonder Shire. Can I, is, there's a map. I know there's a Oh, right here. So we need to go to... Here, no bottle. Oh, we're right here. No problem. No problem. We will head up there. one bridge and cross another I guess let's see because before just here is a port that would just take you to Air Luin after I get these branches so let's see how it is more branches here. Rock Dock Gate. Come on. Is this the right way? Oh, there's Bingo Boffin. What's he doing up here? I thought he was back in uh, Hobbiton. Oh well, we're not we're not gonna do his quest yet. Where am I at? Oh, I'm right here. Going to No Bottle. Here we are. A nosy hobbit. Do we have to deliver mail over here? Maybe. Alright, here's the bounder. Hello, bounder. Of course, I think now you report to me because I'm an honorary sheriff. But anyway. Or maybe I don't have jurisdiction here. I don't know. To Yondershire. Hello. Welcome to Yondershire and welcome to No Bottle, friend. Okay. Please stay a moment. All right. From No Bottle to Long Cleave. 
Welcome to the village of No Bottle. I am Salad Greengrass of the Yonder Watch. We here at No Bottle welcome both friends and strangers alike. Despite what you may have been told, farmers, brewers, writers, and all sorts of folk reside here in No Bottle, and we are proud of them all. We have even some guests at the moment, such as Fredegar Bolger, a hobbit from away on whom I have been keeping my eye. Perhaps you can do the same. While you are here, I recommend exploring our lovely village and seeing the sights. The village center, No Bottle Farm, and the Fox and Fiddle, the finest tavern in all Yondershire. Oh, we gotta check that out. When you are done, feel free to make the journey to the village of Longcleave. Uh, once there, you can meet Rosa, the newest Reeve. She took over for her mother, you see, who was Reeve before. Ah, do not let me talk your ears off. Get to sightseeing. Okay. Oh, okay. So we'll do a quest guy focus on this guy. There we go. Alright. Village center is cozy and bustling. Oh, and there's... Probably, let's make that the milestone. Uh, I might need to go back there. Never mind. I might need, need to go back to Mickle Delving. How do you do? There we go. Ooh, let's see what... So, we saw we have a new currency. And let's see what, what can we can get. So we get ten day? of these. You get your, your uh, travel skills. Let's see. I guess I guess this is for everybody. Hunter, this is the hunter skill. Buy for ten of those coins. We gotta do that. Okay. And then what do we get? We got um, house decorations. House decorations. House decorations. Large frame map of area door. I should probably make a map room in my house and just collect all the maps. Furniture, house. It's like a lot of cosmetics. Ambient environment, the music for your house. Oh, you could get a goose. Trade for Mathems, or trade Mathems for the Copper Bounder Coins. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, I have something. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I got something. Where's the... Go. What do you need? Okay, sell. I have some coins I need to sell here. Healer. Okay, I like that they got these little nice little signs here. That's pretty cool. Alright. Where's the tavern? I'm looking for the tavern. That was the Hobbit. What's this? Fox and Fiddle in. There we go. What can I do for you this fine day? See, 
They don't have a, uh... Oh, oh, here it is. No bottle brew. I knew they should have a specialty drink. Let's see how it is. All right. You are quite merry. Okay. All right. Let's see what this guy wants. Good day. Might I have a word with you? Why, hello there! I have not seen you before, which can only mean one thing, you do not live in the village. I knew it. I may spend most of my time right here on in the Fox and Fiddle, but I have found that news has a way of collecting in taverns better than anywhere else. What brings you to No Bottle? An adventurer, you say? Oh ho, I am something of an adventurer myself. You simply must come back to my home. You can view my collection of books and regale me with tales of your most interesting and exciting adventures. Okay. Do that. Alright, this is a good size little tavern here. these two guys first yeah here yeah that's the closest I think all oh, talking smack about Gandalf Ooh, there's an upset hobbit right here why is the hobbit so upset oh my goodness all right Young Hobbit speaks to a crowd of admirers. All right. Redegar Bolger. Stay and have some tea. Canvas of Defiance. The young Hobbit speaks to the small crowd that gathers around him. They say the bounders protect the bounds. Why is that? That is because everything within the bounds is our home. We are hobbits, are we not? We will decide where the bounds are and where the bounds are not. The young hobbit turns his attention to you. You there, you look like you could use some more convincing. Speak to these hobbits gathered around. They will tell you I speak only the truth. Okay. Hello there. Fredegar is worried about Yondershire, and I believe him. We live in a peaceful life, but I... But lately, I've seen more and more troublemakers about. Well, they're not okay. wrong. Fredegar speaks the truth. I have seen a ruffian or two across the bounds of southern Yondershire. We have got to do something. A lovely day, isn't it? He is such a good storyteller. I could listen to him talk all, all about the bounds all day. Did you know the bounds of the Shire used to be different from the current bounds? I have seen the maps. Ubo Clayhanger has a book containing such maps in his collection. Now, what was the name of that author? It was someone familiar, but I can't remember why. A lovely day, isn't it? I don't have proof, but I think some of the stone walls that mark the old bounds are being moved. One day the old wall was intact, and the next, why, it was missing a stone or two. Someone is up to something. Hmm. Suspicious. Okay, here's a postman. Let's see what, uh, what quest he has for us. A hint of tampering. Route? No, okay. We're gonna save these routes for later. Well, let's see the hint of temper. I have a word with you. Uh, hello. If you have a complaint to file against the Quick Post, I do ask that you submit it in writing and deliver it to my assistant Ebo. We are quite a, we are aware, excuse me, of a number of issues involving delayed or lost mail that that some hobbits have reported over the past few weeks. Rest assured, the quick post will get to the bottom of it. 
With that out of the way, who are you? What can I help you today? You introduce yourself to Postman Grub and ask what's happening at the Quick Post. Pleased to meet you, Fortrick. I am Walto Grub, and I've been a postman going on 12 years. I say it's my calling if you believe in such things. As for what's going on with the Quick Post, I wish I could tell you. Like I said, the mail's been turning up late or not at all, and the folk in Yondershire aren't too happy about it. I don't know if the postmaster's been trying something new or altering routes, but I don't think that's it. Postman Grub looks around and lowers his voice. Between you and me, I think someone's been tampering with the mail. If you're out of, if you're of a mind to help me sort this out, meet me inside the quick post. Okay. Won't do the routes yet, but we'll we'll see what. Uh, quick post is strewn with undelivered letters and parcels. Hello there. If you're okay, don't I'm just be busy with this. Uh huh. There he is. Just a moment. I must apologize for the mess, Fortrick. You see, we're a bit backed up here, in, uh, backed up here in No Bottle with letters and parcels due to be delivered to the Hithershire. Hithershire. Most folks down in Mickle Delving, Hobbiton, and and the light just call it the Shire, but it seems a bit odd to me, but I digress. We've had a few postmen come up from the Hither Shire with small deliveries, but none of them are taking as much as they ought to, to deliver back to the rest of the Shire. It's almost like they're trying to slow the whole thing down, for goodness sake. We've had a parcel due for stock sitting here for over a month. Edbo... Received a delivery from the quick post away meet this morning, and as usual, it's it was very light. Unfortunately, after I inspected the letters and parcels, I only became more suspicious that someone's been deliberately tampering with the mail. Why don't you head up front and take a look at them, Fortrick? I'm curious to know what you make of their condition. Okay. Something's fishy at the quick post. I'm not surprised. You know, the quick post down in the Shire um, had issues too. All right, his parcel is unsealed and so let's see it. You know, I, I, I wonder about the assistant right there. He's suspicious to me. Here's this envelope was unsealed and resealed with wax of a different color. A cat, although this letter shows no signs of tampering, it is wrinkled and stained by tea. Ooh. The old steam water trick. This partial knot appears to be hastily tied uh, and bears a curious symbol in ink. It appears this envelope was unsealed and hastily resealed with some kind of sap. What? Where's that cat? Is there a cat in one of these boxes? This part appears to have been marked with a curious symbol in ink. All right, let's go back and talk to him. Is there something I can do for you? What do you think, Fortrick? What did you make of these letters and parcels? Um, are my concerns ill-founded? You tell Postman Grub that unless many, many hobbits have co coincidentally forgotten to add postscripts until after sealing their letters, you must conclude that there are obvious signs of tampering on all the recent deliveries at the Quick Post and No Bottle. I knew it. Might I have a word with you? I knew it, Fortrick. If Postmaster Proudfoot had caught wind of this, he would had already put a stop to it. After all the work he put in to maintain the good reputation of the Quick Post, there's no chance he let some sort of conspiracy drag into the mud. I have to inform the Postmaster at once. Postman Grub takes out a blank piece of parchment and inks a quill. He begins writing, periodically glancing uh, to his letter ledger. Now, Fortrick, I hope you don't mind, but I need to ask you to deliver this... Uh, Postmaster Proudfoot and Mickle Delving. In case something should happen to this letter, com commit it to your memory that no no bottle has received 30 
three pieces of mail from the hither shire in the past month the postmaster will have his own records on hand and i would urge him to compare them against my own postman Grove finished writing seals the letter hands it to you i'm counting on you for a trick this is something there is something foot in the shire i hope we can just hold on to it okay hopefully, hopefully yeah this is not a time quest so that's good we could just hold on to it and deliver it back at our leisure all right all right we'll do that later visit no bottle farm oh what's this oh i talked to these guys and i left him hanging okay let's see what he says a lovely day isn't it now that you have spoken to these fine hobbits, you must see that I speak the truth. My name is Fredegar, and I have but one concern, the state of the bounds. There has been something upsetting going on in the Shire. I can't say any more than that, but you will have to take my word for it. There are frightening folk about, and Fredegar shivers. The less said of that, the better. But I have also seen a number of ruffians moving about, and we can surely do something about them. Can I ask you to persuade some ruffians to turn tail and return to their homes outside the Shire? I know they have taken up residence in the ruins of Os Lagorath uh, to the north, but you might also find them prowling about elsewhere in the Yonder Shire. Okay. Reduce awareness. What's this? Okay. Okay, that's a quick post. We'll come back. Do those later. Uh-huh. I got his test. Yep. Going. Let's go this way. do that all right so there's a quest ring there, yeah there's a quest ring over here somewhere it's the house who are these people nobody all right I think this is oh no bottle farm maybe I don't know or Hubu Clayhanger's house. Door. Clayhanger's home. Okay. Books fill most of the rooms in Hubu Clayhanger. Come in, come in. Make yourself at home while I finish preparing some tea for us. Okay. Well, let's take a look see. Wanders of Wellstones by Hubu Clanghainer. This book seems to have been started some time ago, but it remains unfinished. A Bounder's Life for Me by Vanderbris Took. This book is an old chronicle of Bounder Tales, apparently written by Bullroar himself. Out of the Bounds, Maps of the Shire Proper and the Yonder Shire by Fredegar Bolger. This book contains many maps of the Shire with boundary markings and other annotation. Ah, same author as The Hobbit we just met. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. The Perfect Sward, Out to Tend Your Yard by Hanfast Gamgee. This old book appears to be a guide for gardening for beginners.
I Stalks the History of Pipeweed by Udo Grubb. This book will be a fine read for anyone looking to grow pipeweed. All right. Let's be nosy. Anything else around here? No. That's a small house. He is ready. All right, let's get our num nums. How do you do? Oh ho, you found my book. Yes, it's true. I am writing a book about the history of the Wellstones. They have ruins found in Yondershire. Some call the ruins Bar Farth. Have you visited them? No. Good day. Might I have a word with you? I must confess something to you, friend. This feels silly of me to say to someone who has adventured far and wide, but I have never actually been to the Wellstones. I have been writing mainly about the account of others who have seen them. You see, I have not actually set one foot outside of no bottle in my entire life. My mother took a trip to the Shire proper a few months before I was born, but I don't believe that counts. And so my book remains incomplete. I need more information. I need an eyewitness account. Can you go to the Wellstones and look for any relics you might find? I will also make use of any etchings you can pr provide. Excuse me. That will be most helpful remember the ruins in question go by two names you are looking for either the wellstones or bar farath okay all right i think we're gonna go to the farm first though farms this way Oh, I get my horsey. I get the horsey. There we go. Let's see if I can take out these. Uh... Oh, I should be able to take them out. Let me see here. Okay. A little harder on red. Farm primarily grows barley for no bottles famous brew. Alright, oh there's a brew master right there. Better get that harvest fly. Yay! I should get my little uh, experience booster going, but oh well. Come on. Good day. Might I have a word with you? Hello there. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you seem to be the sort who enjoys a good brew. You betcha I am. You're in good company here, friend. Now let me ask you a question. Have you ever fancied brewing up a good beer yourself? I find if you engage in the process, you'll have a greater appreciation for every bottle you enjoy, and wouldn't that be quite a nice reward? I will be happy to teach you the way of it, for I am Bolda Hop Blossom. The head brewmaster of No Bottle Land. Mine is the finest beer in the West Farthing. Don't let anyone tell you differently. This may be one of the younger settlements in the Shire as things are reckoned, but No Bottle is still centuries old by now. Plenty of time for us to master brewing. Now listen to the many steps of brewing a beer of which you have to be proud. Oh, we get some stuff here. What do we get? Get the armor. Minimum level 20. Okay. 
I want medium armor anyway. Yeah, that's some good armor right there. At the way time, me am level 20, but okay. Like barley from the fields. Okay. I will do that. Get long click. No, we're not doing that. Okay. Okay. Alright, we're going to collect barley from the fields. Barley! Gotta be careful of the animals, though. One! One barley! Piece of barley, barley bush, however you call it. Come on! Two! Two barley bushes! Ha 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 ha! Three! Three barley bushes! Four! Four barley bushes! Five! Five barley bushes! Six! Six barley bushes! Seven! Seven barley bushes! Come on! Face the target. There we go. Come on. Come on. Well, eight. Eight barley bushes. Nine. Nine barley bushes. Ten, ten barley bushes. Before we go back, there's a shrew over here looking at me weird. There he is. Oh, there's a harvest fly. There it is. There's a biting shrew right there. Oh. Try to get on that. There we go. Deflected. Yay! That's some XP. Harvest fly. Of me. All right. Malt the barley. I assume we do it over here. No. Do we malt the barley? Maybe next. That's what I get for. Making assumptions. Yeah. Oh, right here. Okay. Okay, mash the barley. Goodness. The mashing pot. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, and these are. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh. 
Come on. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. That's okay. We will retreat. I don't want to revive right then and there. Alright. How far away am I? Oh, way over at Foxden Heath. Wow. We're not going to Foxden Heath. Someone is after me. Uh oh, leg, leg. That was a big old leg. Okay, there's where I gotta be. Okay, just sneak over here and use the pot. There we go. Oil the brew. Ferment the brew. Man, this is lengthy. Collect empty bottles from the farm and from the fox and fiddle and are you kidding me? Oh lord. One Okay, fox and fiddle in. Yes, no. Okay, that's a postman. Grab me another brew while I'm at I it. I hope you find something, friends. Hey, 
And twelve! Twelve empty bottles! Ha 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 ha! Still empty bottles, okay. I'm assuming I have to go back. Alright. I guess I could fill three bottles at a time. There's that math, everyone. All right. A lovely day, isn't it? Now that's a beer of which you can be proud, delightful, note the sense of accomplishment you now feel, and let it buoy your steps as you walk around Yondershire. Brewmaster Bolda Hop Blossom grins at you. Aye, you'll have some walking to do, friend. You can keep this brew all to yourself. You'll you need to get it into the hands. Oh, you can't keep this brew all to yourself. You need to get it into the hands of our patrons. Visit every drinking establishment in Yondershire and bring the brew to our waiting customers. You'll get to see a lot of happy faces as you make those deliveries. All right. Okay. All right. So that. All right. Let's go defeat some ruffians. Is that at? I could. Oh, way up here. That's the closest place, really. That's far far enough anyway. No. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, you kidding me? Can't focus. There, take that. All right. Let's do this. Uh, where is the track nearby quest? Okay. All right. So I guess we're going back. Okay. Just do. Come on, we're almost at level 18. Come on. This is a little bit of a gap going from Shire to the Yonder Shire. You know, I mean, I, I, you know, I know people like the challenge of fighting red level uh, uh, mobs and whatnot. Is it here? You know, but uh, it, it is a little gap. I mean, doing the Shire quest only got me to level 17. And then they suggest you do token gratitude. What's this? Okay. Oh, good day. Hello. Ah, I see. Brewmaster Bloda Hops Blossom has put you to work. It's been a while since she's had to make a delivery herself. Have a drink before you leave. No sense crafting a batch and not having a taste. Okay, I think that's what I just did. Yay! Okay. Alright, talk to Frothard, Took and Tightfield. Okay, we'll do that. Okay. And did, how much? How much more? Fifty-seven. I need fifty-seven XP. Yeah, I have to 
go back to my vault and grab me one of my uh, uh, gifts from the anniversary and okay that Neeker Beaker Let's see here it's going down doing Bagan's birthday right now. Come on. Fine. All right. Lotho's Bounder. I like a... Lotho's Bounder. I think these guys are the bad guys. Hmm. I think so. Yeah. If you know the story of the scouring of the Shire from the Lord of the Rings books, I think those are the bounders that uh, basically are in line with Sharky. How dare ya. Oh, come on. Yay! All right. Let's see. Died at the at that again. No, I don't. Oh, this is. Oh, I guess so. I only have journeyman, and you need expert. Okay. Interesting. All right. Well, let's see what she wants. We'll keep the quest guide focus. Ah, oh, hello. Might I ask, are you headed to Gamwich? My friend Clotude hasn't showed up for our weekly tea, and I'm growing quite worried. She's never missed one before, not once. I'm afraid I can't step away now. I'm preparing our food, so it'll be warm once she arrives. Please make sure she's all right. Checking her home might be a good start. She lives just across the inn from in there. Okay. Okay, but we're... uh. Yeah, we're not going to Long Cleave just yet. Oh no, that's delayed response. Okay. 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 And. Let's see what these quests are. Well Judging by your outfit, you must be a person of discerning taste. Perhaps you're the right person to help me. I'm in town visiting a friend. This will be my first time being a guest in her home, and I'd like to bring a gift for her, a mathem, as they say, around these parts. Problem is, I can't decide what to give her. I'm petrified of giving a lackluster gift. Could you bother to ask around town see what folks think make for a good mathem? Okay. You may be of service to me. Okay. Hail, friend. Would you like to join in our game of hiders and seekers? You may decline, but I will warn you that the children are quite tenacious. I had no choice but to surrender when they found me. 
Alas, they're still as energetic as they were when we started playing, and I've grown quite wary. Could you assume the role of Seeker for a while? When you're ready, climb up the gazebo and begin counting down. Rest assured, there is no need to venture beyond Tyfield's walls to find the children. Good luck. That's this, right? Alrighty, I'm just going to continue questing. Find and poke hiders, alright? Let's see, and then I'm just going to continue questioning. They, they can hide all they want. There's Frother Took. Right, uh. Oh well. Okay, to Yondershire, I think that's the one, Hello. first one I had. Welcome to Yondershire. What brings you to the farmy hamlet of Tightfield, friend? Hello. What do I look like? What do I like in a mathem, you ask? The smaller the better. When you have as many friends and relations as I do, a lot of mathems find their way into your home. I like to keep things tidy, so smaller mathems mean they take up less space, which means I'm less bothered. Okay. And let's see, from Tyfield to Gamwich. Can yep. I take a moment of your time? Welcome to the Hamlet of Tyfield. I am Frothar Took, bounder at your service. We here in Tyfield are mostly farmers. We live the quiet life and enjoy a round of golf on Foxden Heath every now and again. We are also known for our rope making. Are you staying in Yondershire for long? I recommend that you explore the Hamlet of Tightfield, checking out our most notable sites, the Village Center, Tightfield Farm, and the Elbows Bend, the finest tavern in all of Yondershire. When you're done, you should journey to the village of Gamwich. Gamwich, yeah. Uh, Gaitha Beatbrush is a game hunter there and fearsome bounder as well. You should meet her. Okay. Shrew's Clues. Might I have a word with you? I am a little embarrassed, Fotrick, but perhaps you can help me with something. I have always kept my bounder supplies within the small shed and never thought I needed to worry about someone I might break in. But that very thing has happened, and I know the identities of the culprits. Fro Frothar turns a bright pink. It's Shrew's Fortrick. They burrowed right under the wall of my shed and made a terrible mess. Worse still, they ran off with an important map of mine, and they have likely torn it all to pieces by now. Can you find all the pieces of the map and return them to me so I can put it back together? Sure. Please, stay a moment. Have you got time to help us search for a missing hobbit? Reginard is his name. He ventured out of Tightfield a day ago and hasn't returned. I'm rather concerned. The poor fellow has a reputation for being unlucky. There was a time when Reginard wasn't as plagued by misfortune, but, well, that's not my story to tell. He was headed toward a campsite in the marsh to the west. I'm sure he can handle the local wildlife just fine, but goblins are another story. There are quite a few of them in the ruins to the northwest. I hope he hasn't run into them. Okay, and at that note, I think we're going to call it quits. Um, thank you all for watching. We will, In our next video, we will continue on with the Yondershire quest. Uh, hopefully, we'll gather all the quests and then actually start to adventure. All right, thank you all. Um, again, if you like the video, feel free to hit that like, subscribe, bell notification. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. All right. Have a good night, everyone, and take care.